Well, of course, Halloween is here on Saturday. Thanksgiving isn't far away, and you may have already started working on your holiday decor, but here's an idea that will last well into the fall season, long after those jack-o'-lantern pumpkins are tossed away. Today on You Can Grow It, our garden master Jim Duthie goes back in time to a class where a whole lot of crafty and creative ladies combined small, cute pumpkins with a touch of indoor gardening to make some very unique holiday decorations. Autumn is in full swing, and the fall holidays are just around the corner. Mother Nature has been busy making some eye-catching displays outdoors with brilliant fall colors, and these ladies are working on some indoor fall decorations of their own. Looking for a great holiday decorating idea? How about decorating a pumpkin with succulents? It's a frosty Saturday morning outside Edwards Greenhouses, but it's warm and toasty inside where about two dozen women are busy creating some unique and interesting centerpieces and decorations that will adorn their homes for the fall season. Just entry table and then maybe one on like our mantle um, just to celebrate the fall season. It's not unusual to display pumpkins this time of year, but these aren't being carved into scary faces. Instead, they're being turned into creative displays using succulent plants and dried flowers. I think I was going more for the dried floral theme and just have a few succulents in here and just wanted some of the fall colors. Oh, they're great. Like the pinks and the oranges and all the, just the different succulents and um, a lot of fun. They start with small pumpkins. Besides the typical orange ones, these white pumpkins are interesting and different. Then they gather an assortment of plant material, including pieces of succulent plants, some dried flowers, and some moss and dried seed pods. They said that they got them all, they're all from the greenhouse, mm -hmm. you know, all these dried products. Next, take some hot glue, dab it on the pumpkin, and start making your own arrangement with the plant material. There's no right or wrong way to do it. It's all up to your own creativity and imagination. Just learn to jump in and just start and, you know, just Keep creating, look around for inspiration, there's plenty of that. It never looks nice. <laughs> I don't have really any inspiration. And if you don't like it, you can take them and get off. That's right. Yeah. Nothing's permanent. This one I wanted to be kind of natural. Mm -hmm. This one was a little feminine. I just start poking things in. <laughs> She's a planner. Oh, okay. She plans it all out and then takes it apart and glues. I just do it as I go. We're talking about elevation is the key, so I think the higher you go, the better. But I'm trying to pack mine as tightly as possible. It is more the merrier. <laughs> and a burst of color, I think, on every corner. It's just an easy activity to do, um, and it's just elements from the garden. Yeah, we found it and thought it would be a good uh, family thing to do. I think this is a great, um, great event, wonderful idea. We were so excited to attend. And the results are beautiful and amazing transforming little pumpkins and some pieces of plants from the garden into works of art just in time for the fall holidays. For Idaho's News Channel 7, and you can grow it, I'm Jim Duthie. I feel compelled to remind you because if you're like me and you're watching that piece, uh, a little part of you say, where, where are those ladies' masks? Why are they so close together? Why are they sitting shoulder to shoulder? Again, that was taped last year at this time, before we even had a mask anywhere around. In the meantime, I'll also mention that miniature pumpkins will last for weeks without carving, and in some cases, the succulents themselves can be planted later and grow into thriving plants, as Jim told us.